But first, we start with the top tech executives having their day on the Hill in Washington, D.C. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey at the tail end of six and a half hours of testimony. That's between both the House and the Senate. Let's get to Julia Borson, who's on the ground with all the details. Julia. Melissa, that's right. Jack Dorsey is still here in uh, this hearing room behind me testifying before the House Energy and Commerce Committee. It has been a very long day for him because, remember, he started his day sharing the stage with Sheryl Sandberg, the two of them testifying before the Senate Intel Committee. That hearing was about their work to prevent election interference. They said they're collaborating with each other as well as government agencies and cybersecurity companies to make sure they're doing everything they can with new technology as well as with employees to prevent interference with the upcoming midterm elections. Let me be clear. We are more determined than our opponents and we will keep fighting. When bad actors try to use our site, we will block them. When content violates our policies, we will take it down. And when our opponents use new techniques, we will share them so we can strengthen our collective efforts. After that testimony, Jack Dorsey came over here to the Rayburn House office building. He's now wrapping up about three and a half hours of testimony. It is still ongoing. And this House Energy and Commerce Committee um, hearing is focused on bias at Twitter when it comes to how it moderates and blocks certain content um, and certain users of the platform. Now, Twitter shares dipped today as Dorsey made it clear that he's investing to clean up all of those issues, no matter the short term cost uh, to the company. Take a listen. Our singular objective as a company right now is to increase the health of public conversation. And we realize that that will come at short term cost. We realize that we will be removing accounts. Google was notably absent from these hearings today. The Senate Intel Committee this morning leaving a seat empty to indicate that it invited Alphabet CEO Larry Page, who declined, and the committee rejected Google's offer to send its policy SVP Kent Walker. Now, Google was criticized both in the Senate and in the House hearings for failing to send a C-suite executive. And while Sandberg and Dorsey were pressed on a range of issues, they were also praised for coming here to answer a range of different kinds of questions. Melissa, back over to you. Julia, and this all as uh, the DOJ is indicating that they will uh, examine whether or not social media giants are, are stifling viewpoints. It's just, I mean, the, the hearings may be almost wrapping up, Julia, but what's the next step? Well, uh, first of all, back to the Google point, it'll be interesting yeah. to see if Google is called again. And a, a lot of the questions in these hearings were answered with Dorsey and Sandberg saying, we're going to have to follow up and send you more information. Now, interestingly, Dorsey, who's been pressed for the past three plus hours on the question of bias, said that when it comes to examining bias in algorithms, that they design the algorithms to be fair, but they are still in the early days of really understanding the issues of bias in algorithms. I'm saying it's a very complex sort of mechanical issue that they're, they're starting to study. So I think we'll hear more about this issue of biased algorithms um, and this understanding that it's not just people making choices that are biased, but algorithms really need to be dissected in how they're programmed to, to approach the platform and approach users in the platform. All right, Julia, thank you. Julia Borston uh, joining us from uh, Rayburn over in Congress. The uh, social stocks in the spotlight getting slammed. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Google all under pressure today. The Nasdaq as a whole falling about a percent, leading the market lower. Is the party over for these high-flying tech stock? It is worth noting, Guy, that Twitter um, closed close to the lows of the session off just by about 20 cents. Yeah, Twitter so. down 6%. I don't think the party's over. I, so in order, I, and I got to be, you know, got to be honest and earnest about this. So Facebook, when Zuckerberg... Uh, testified back in April, March. The stock was trading 155 or so. I didn't think there was any way whatsoever that stock was going to rally from there. Traded north of $200, so it's dead wrong. Obviously, saw what happened last quarter. What I'll say again is 
We are now lower in Facebook than we were after they reported that release when it was down 25 percent. And I happen to think that Facebook has existential risk that takes it back to that level, which will be very compelling on valuation. I think Twitter, out of all of them, might be one of the most compelling stories at this price, given that I think they still are one of the unique properties out there. And what I find fascinating is Google, who wasn't there, stock was only down 1 percent. So if I had to line them up in order, I would buy Twitter first, Google second, Facebook Why third. Why doesn't Twitter have, a, have an existential issue? I think, I think they do have an existential issue, but I think that they were hit uh, originally or they were in favor with Facebook. We sort of went through this already once. Uh -huh. I did think it acted weak today, so I, I, was, I wasn't confident at the end of the day the way Twitter acted. Social acted weak. But if you look at what performed last month, what performed this month, if you look at it on a chart, you have technology out of favor. That was your big winner in August. It's out of favor this month. If you look at your retail stocks, your home builders, those are what's rallying today, but I think it might be one or two day. All right, you tell me that a company is going to spend more money, but we don't know exactly how much mm -hmm. is needed to be spent to clean up a problem, mm -hmm. and that there could be bias in the algorithms that they don't even know about. I, I don't know if I'm comfortable with those premises. I think Are it's you? a higher risk right now, in my opinion, uh -huh. to Twitter. And the reason I say that is right now we've got the fake accounts to deal with and the idea that they're going to start spending. And he said it doesn't matter in the short term. Well, isn't that sort of similar to what we heard from Facebook after we actually got through the earnings call? Mm -hmm. And then suddenly they talked about how much money they were going to be spending, far more than anybody ever expected. And that's really what sold off Facebook once again to give it that next push to the downside. So I look at Facebook, I see all the different verticals that they've got. And I think they've already taken the pain. I think that's also why Facebook was down far less percentage-wise today than Twitter. But Twitter, it just it does make you wonder. And I've said this many times before, and I've been pushed back on some of the guys on the desk even, when I've said, I think they could have 30% of their accounts could be fake. I mean, I honestly look at Twitter and you look at how many different accounts are out there that absolutely aren't Yeah, but somebody, isn't it more about right? the news service that Twitter is offering? So even if Which those is great. accounts, I, so I think it's more about the news service that they're offering. So the accounts that you know are verified, I think right. that's the strength behind Twitter. It's not so much the fluff But it's followers. the spending that's going to follow now, according to what Jack was saying today. I mean, the amount of spending could be extreme. Hmm. I don't own Twitter. I think it's the most expensive. I have Google, my biggest position, then Facebook. Here's the pushback on maybe why mm -hmm. you would want to buy it. If you were concerned about Dorsey doing a good job today and you thought, all right, if he's not going to admit to enough, they're really going to come after him with regulations. Right? I thought he actually did an excellent job. And I think they, I think, I, don't, I can't speak for all of the members of the Congress, but you can see on some of the, um, or, or the, the House that they, believe that he takes this very seriously, right. right? And that they want to try to do the right thing, which sort of takes some of the pressure off of the legislators to try to get something done, which is nearly impossible. So I think for that reason, that was a, I think he did a good job. And, and that would be my bullish case for Twitter. All that aside, though, they're all in a vacuum right now. There's bad news only until earnings, I think which is not going to come for another, I think, third week of October. Of October. So there'll be, I don't know, sideways. But where do you get the performance other than tech in the marketplace? If you're looking for any tech type X of... Fang, tech maybe? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, there is know. a wide world of technology outside of And they all got knocked down Facebook, today with Workday, Google. right? So you, so you had that. It was that. Amazon, too. It wasn't just uh, so... No, it was everything. So my, my, right, my point is, is it... Can it be longer than a one or two day or three day event because you're not getting that superior growth? We had Staples lead, we had Utilities lead. Both of them are either down 4% or flat on year. So you think this is sort of like the last reason or the, the reason to rotate out of tech? It, it could be, but I doubt that when people look after a week, they're not going to get growth of 20 to 25 percent at reasonable valuations in most of these names. So I think it's going to be a one or two day or three day event, and then they'll just go right back into I agree. those tech well, names. We're not. This isn't day one. If you look at where Google has been in the last, this is like day I don't know 10. I mean, this is down four or five percent. Mm -hmm. That's a big move. So even though I think there'll be sort of a vacuum, I would not be a seller of Google down here. No way. Pete's right about it. Uh, Facebook. I mean, Instagram is going to be huge. They talked about how they're going to monetize it, have a shot. So no question about it. In the short term, though, I still think there's risk. And to push back, Steve made a similar point. I don't think Twitter should have ever talked about 
daily average users, monthly average users. Google doesn't do it. Gene Munster is going to be on, and he can address that, I'm sure. But it's the wrong metric to use for them. It's a delivery system, and I think people have to sort of wrap their head around that. If they were to get away from it, if they were to say we're going to stop reporting DAUs, MAUs, it might hurt for a couple of days in terms of stock performance, but I think in the long run, it helps that company immeasurably. Do you have to be logged in to do a Google search? That's the reason why. When you do searches on Twitter, you're not logged into Twitter, so it doesn't matter whether you're an active user or not. You could not even be a user and search yeah, on don't Twitter. Don't you think at this point, though, the investor concern is really just about whether or not there's going to be regulation and whether or not they're going to have to spend a whole lot more than we ever think that they're going to spend? I mean, right now, it's not... I don't yes, think anybody's thinking that. about daily active users versus monthly active users. No. That's sort of like now the minutia. Here we are talking about big issues that really could change the way they do their business, right? How they conduct their business, how they operate the to company. To be the valuation of Twitter, shouldn't there be an inherent discount? Higher. The valuation is higher. The uh -huh. metrics are higher, which makes me far more comfortable with an Alphabet and, and uh, Facebook. Right. Shouldn't, well, should there be a, a further discount, in your view, to any of these stocks? Well, I, the I, I think Facebook, the discount's already been, for the most part, in my okay. opinion, most of it's already been priced in. And Sheryl Sandberg actually even said herself today that the idea that, hey, look, we, we'd actually be open to some sort of regulation.